Ever heard of the phrase, you have to go backwards before you can go forwards? I actually am not sure if that's a phrase or if I just made it up recently, but I have found that that's very true when it comes to my shoulder. Melissa Weiss here from Nephew Physical Therapy. You see, I like to play volleyball and every fall, I haven't done that motion. I don't play beach. I don't do any of that stuff in the summer. I go to make my overhead serve and my arm is dead. That is exactly what happened three weeks ago when we started the season. No power. Now, my history as a bad neck, which I've talked about on here multiple times, which translates into loss of strength in the shoulder. And it sucks, right? Because I'm certainly not in my 20s, <laughs> maybe a few decades ahead of that. And I need my shoulder to work. I normally have a very a fairly powerful serve, but it might as well have been a limp noodle trying to knock that ball over over the net. So the next week, I put my PT brain on, which is much better than my patient brain, because as a patient, I suck and I don't always follow directions. But if I'm actually thinking through and being proactive, I said, wait a minute, what would I tell somebody else to do? I said, I would make sure that my shoulder is in a position to actually work. You would think that I would have gone home and done resistance bands forwards or across the body, anything with resistance going forwards. No, I went backwards. I did shoulder blade squeezes. I did what we call a $5 foot log with resistance bands doing external rotation. I took bands and did resisted abduction out to the side. Everything that takes me here and here. You know what happened? First swing, no problem. The ball didn't die, didn't hit the net. Went right on over with the power and strength that I'm used to. You see, we often think that where our problem is, it just needs more attention. It needs more strengthening. That shoulder, I might as well do a lot more chest pressing, um, bench press, the row machines, all that stuff. I disagree. I think that sometimes we have to go backwards before we can have strength forwards. Living proof of that just the other week. Because we're often neglecting our rotator cuff and external rotation. We're, ne we're definitely neglecting those shoulder blades. And that balance that needs to happen in the shoulder so it's in an optimal position. By the way, you might not play volleyball. Well, do you ever do stuff overhead and it crunches and it pops and it makes all these weird noises? Yeah, that happens to me too. You know what fixes that? <laughs> Activating the muscles on the back of my shoulder. Suddenly it's easier to paint. Suddenly it's easier to hang stuff up on the wall. So think about that. What if we needed to go backwards before we could go forwards? You need help with that? You let us know. We've got in-clinic options with great manual therapy as well as very specific instructions in those exercises so that when you're doing things like that, you're not hiking and cheating. And did you know we have a virtual option? Not exactly you know, the normal physical therapy. But if you want to ask me some questions, let's set up a time, work with our front desk. Happy to talk through those things. Need a second opinion? Of course, live in Florida. Hey, I probably can't fix your problem directly. You know, I can't reach through the internet, but I can give you some ideas. I can give you some direction. If you're looking for some options, that's what we are. Check out our website at nephewpt.com backslash virtual. You'll learn more about how to do that. And in the meantime, remember, pain is not normal and you need to do something about it.